Let's learn how the do while loop works in C Sharp. I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new project. And I'm going to call this project do while loop. And it's going to be a .NET Framework console. I'll click OK. Now the difference between the for loop and the while loop and the do while loop is that the for loop and the while loop are preconditioned loops. They check the expression before they drop into the loop, meaning the minimum number of times that loop could execute would be zero. In other words, if the expression was false, then the system would not execute the source code attached to the for loop and the while loop. However, for the do while, you will execute it at least once because it's a post condition loop. It checks the condition at the end of the loop rather than at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and type in some variables that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to go ahead and assign them the value of 0 just to make sure everything's good. And I'll create a string variable to enter in names. And then I'm going to have a do curly brace. And then down at the bottom is where I'm going to have my while loop. So the very bottom of those braces, I'll say while, as long as um, inum, which will be my counter to keep me in the loop, is less than the variable that they're going to type in from the keyboard. So let's say that I prompt them and say how many names to enter. And then I go um, get that count from the keyboard. And remember, it comes back as a string when I use the right line. So I'm going to make it an integer, sorry, from the read line, console.read line. That gets a string from the keyboard. We convert it to an int. We store it to the counter. And I actually want to take this part and take it out of the loop. Otherwise, if I put it in the loop, it will be displayed every single time. So in the loop itself, I just want to say, what is the name? And then I have to go and get that name from the keyboard. And then I can print it out. The name is, and then I'll concatenate on or add on the contents of that variable. And then it says, let's go ahead and check the condition. Notice that on this one, you put a semicolon at the end of that loop. So let's go ahead and run it once and see what happens, see if it works. How many names to enter? Let's do three of them. The first name is Mickey. The second name is Donald. Third name is Goofy. And wow, for some reason, it just keeps saying, what is the name? What is the name? What is the name? Why is that? Because when you use a do while, just like the while loop, you have to keep track of the counter. And if you notice, I never incremented or decremented that counter, so I have to control that. Well, what if I do a post increment or a pre increment? Doesn't really matter in this situation. Well, let's see if it really doesn't. How many names to enter? Three. What is the first name? Mickey, Donald, Goofy. Wow, another one. So it does four. That one actually allows an extra run because it's a post. Well, what if I did a pre then? Let's do a pre increment right there and run it one more time. How many names to enter? Three, Mickey, Donald, Goofy. That time it did work. So in other words, you need to be careful with that post and pre when you're working with the while loop. I'm going to go ahead and add a console.read line at the very end. And so what you might want to do is instead of taking a chance and making a mistake with that counter, maybe you want to control the increment inside the loop itself rather than on the expression. Now let's go see if it only does the three names. Three names, Mickey, Donald, Goofy. The name is Goofy and it's waiting for me to press a keystroke now. So the difference between the do while and the while is that the do will execute this code at least one time and then it checks the expression. Whereas the while loop and the for loop check the expression first before dropping into the loop. 
The other thing that might not work with you for the do while is let's say I go and run it one more time. How many names to enter? Zero. I don't want to do any. And it says, really? Go ahead and type in a name. Well, that doesn't really work for me. So if I wanted to do the do while, I might have to have an if statement before I even drop into this. So in this case, it just doesn't make sense to use a do while. Instead, I would use the for loop because I'm doing a count. That's the do while. It's a post condition check, meaning you'll run your code at least once and then check the condition. Even though I entered a zero, it still says I'm going to run the code and then see whether or not you want to do the loop.